welcome. Uh, I am. I decided to do a late night live stream um, because I found myself in the midst of debugging a very interesting Torch Dynamo bug, and I wanted to walk you through how I was going about doing it. I actually haven't gotten that far. I, I like. I got far enough to realize that you know there was something interesting going on, and we're gonna just figure it out together um, where we are. So to set some context for what's going on right now, uh, we first have to um, take a look at, uh, I, I just need to tell you what's going on. So essentially what was going on was um, Brian was working on enabling Hugging Face uh, T5 uh, with, um, with, uh, with dynamic shape support. Um, a bunch of jargon. Um, I've got a nice uh, post on Dev Discuss describing what dynamic shapes is all about. But the, the sort of specifics about what exactly we're working on isn't that important because the, the problem is essentially that we have this model, we run it, and when we run it, uh, we get this weird error. Um, type error cannot unpack non-iterable int object. So there's a nice backtrace, and it's in, as we can see, we're trying to, we've got this input shape, ostensibly a tuple. We're trying to unpack it into um, you know, two elements. But for some reason, Torch Dynamo, well, something, well, we don't know it's Torch Dynamo yet, but we'll, we'll find out very shortly that it is Torch Dynamo, is telling us, hey, this is a non-iterable int object. And, um, and so essentially it's saying input shape is an int, so you can't unpack it. And that's kind of weird because I happen to know that this model does in fact work. It does in fact pass when I run it without dynamic shapes. So there's something going on with dynamic shapes that is causing this to fail. Um, now, Brian, who was before me and trying to debug this, um, told me that the way he tried to investigate what was going on was by um, just looking at uh, um, so-and-so. Uh, he basically added a print statement to the program in question to try to figure out what was going on. So let me just go ahead and undo some changes that I have um, that I did uh, while I was getting ready. Let's go ahead and torch dynamo um, stash my local modifications to that directory. And uh, well, let's just go ahead and go to this file and add a print statement to see what exactly is this integer that we're getting in this situation. So pull this up, go ahead and hop over to this file over here. Let's just say print input shape. And let's go ahead and run this and see what happens. Okay, do, 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 testing, testing, la, 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 la. I'm gonna check if my stream is actually working. It's been a very long time since I've done any streaming and it's been a very long time since I've done any podcast episodes. I apologize for that. We've been very, very busy, very, very busy. You'll get to hear more about that in a few months, but um, uh, this is some of the stuff we're working on, debugging stuff like this. Uh, let's see, so I'm pulling up Twitch on my phone. And let's see, I guess it's Edward Z. Yang. <laughs> yeah, these take a while to run uh, because uh, it's slow. <laughs> this is one of the things we need to work on. Our stack is kind of very slow right now. Okay, there it goes. Looks like I am successfully streaming, so that's very good. So what's going on? Well, um, I don't know. What the heck is going on? Uh, oh, it failed the same way. How interesting. Okay. So, wow, that was not expected. So according to Brian, when he added the print, it actually got past the statement. I didn't, I didn't check this before starting the stream. So let's, what the heck is this? Okay, so. Um, cannot unpack interval thing, optimized model, failed to run because of the following error. Um, we see there's a graph break. It's a graph break saying that, hey, when I print input shape, I get two. Oh no. So actually, what you can see, you, you can see that um, it's actually printing a few times. So let, me, let me go ahead and add um, a little more A lot, a little more context. Um, I'm sorry. I'm gonna to have to subject you to this wait again. Do 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 do. Uh, let me think. So so just looking at this trace over here, um, see a bunch of stuff. We can see. I'm pretty sure that these are from our prints. So you can see that most of the time, 
uh, we get the size we expect. We get we get you know uh, shape shape of numbers, etc. You know that's exactly what we expect, and then we can destructure it. And there's no problem. Um, that didn't do what I wanted. So and then uh, I, I think this is I think this is warm up. So we're we're just running the model. Um, yeah, we're just running the model uh, normally. So okay, so this is a benchmarking script. Okay, so some more context. So this is a benchmarking script. What this benchmark script does is it runs our code with and without Torch Dynamo. So the first time we run it, we run it without Torch Dynamo, and we're just like, hey, you know, uh, what is it the result we get in this situation? Because we're going to actually one of the things this benchmark script does is because we pass it the accuracy um, command line flag, it's going to check that the result with and without the compiler actually gives the same thing. So this is when we're running it um, without the compiler. Um, you know, it looks pretty fine. We get the print we expect. And then uh, when you see the Torch Dynamo log messages start popping up, that's because we're actually running Torch Dynamo. So there's some so there's some graph breaks. They're pretty normal looking. Here is a graph break that is because we're printing. What the heck is this? Well, um, you, you can see that this is exactly the, is it exactly the line? No, it's not the line. Is it? Uh, yeah, line 774, right? 774, exactly. This is the line we're on, right? So I, I put a print statement on line 774, and that caused Dynamo to do a graph break. Why did it cause it to do a graph break? Well, it's because we can't actually put prints in the graph we're going to compile, so that's not going to work, and so it's going to stop the graph and go ahead and give me what the shape is. But in fact, when it runs it, I get 2. So for some reason, my shape in this situation is just 2. And obviously, um, uh, Dynamo is going to start trying to execute the rest of this, and we're going to see that, hey, there is a problem because we can't actually destructure it. Um, actually, what's going on? So, so Dynamo actually attempts to run the bytecode, and they're like, hey, uh, hey, hey, man, this isn't going to work. I'm trying to unpack a sequence, but this is an integer, and you can't get the uh, length of an integer. And this causes it to fall back on eager mode. And in eager mode, for some reason, input shape is still a two because that's we, we asked what the input shape was and it said two. So we're screwed. And so we fail. And then and then there's just a like final error message saying, hey, this is the error we failed on. Okay, so uh, so that worked. And yes, we can see that this is printing out um, you know, while we were in the script. Okay. So that's weird. Uh, oh, I bet what Brian did was he printed out the shape here, it failed, and then he went up the stack, and when he printed it out up on the stack, uh, it stopped failing. Um, mm, uh, yeah, let's try that. Yeah, sure, let's try that. So, do, 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 do. So, to go a little bit further in the stack, let's, let's pick a frame. Here's a frame. Do I have any viewers? I'm really curious. I'm going to peek at my phone again. Do I have any viewers? I have no viewers. That's OK. Whatever. Is it running? I can't see. What's here? Oh, it is running. OK, fine. I just don't have any viewers. Ah, oh, too bad. Say hello. <laughs> All right. Well, I guess most of you will be reading this, watching this on the VOD. It's okay. I mean, it is it is 10 p.m. ES Eastern time, and I didn't tell anyone I was live streaming. Uh, let's tweet. I'm live streaming. I'm live streaming a debugging session right now at Twitch. Okie dokie. Oh, I do have three viewers. Oh yes, hello. Let me say hello back. Hi. Thanks for coming. Um, yeah, go check out the 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 video history. I'm not going to explain myself again because this is is mostly for the vod, honestly. Okay. So uh, yeah, let's go ahead and do that. So here here is an earlier point in the stack trace, and uh, um, it it plops us down this forward function line eight nine two. Um, and let's see. So where are we allocating a shape? So here's the input shape, and then we do a destructure. Um, this might actually not be. This may not be early enough. No, it's probably early enough. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and print input shape here. 
early input shape. You can actually see there's another destructure here, right? So this one didn't fail. So I'm expecting this to actually um, get the right result in this situation. So let's go ahead and run it again. Sorry for the wait. Feel free to ask questions and more than happy to answer anything.